Hello guys, welcome back. I found this guy, one speed. He's a VR racer. He usually uploads nice videos about different racing games. In this case, Acero Corsa, Evo. And in this video, he's sharing a new DLL version for the OpenXR toolkit. And the idea from this guy, of this guy, is simple, but very, very useful. Right now, the OpenXR Toolkit is not allowing us to crop the image. So, instead, we're using the foveated rendering. That way, we lower the resolution in the different rings the outside rings and the inside rings so we can gain some fps but this guy what he he, he was thinking that if you're using a helmet for instance you have black on top of your head and black down so if you're thinking in 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 a racing car helmet that's cool but in the fly simulator, that might be not good because we don't want to 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 cut a lot uh, of the of the original image. So, uh, but 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 we still can use this tool to gain some FPS. In if you want, if you if you can, and if you tolerate uh, a, a, a smaller image you can gain like 20 FPS, and that's awesome. Uh, right now, I'm gonna show you what I'm using, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying this with the Pimax Crystal, and I got shocked, because uh, I was like at 75 FPS in, in, a, in a very, very nice resolution, a very high resolution, with getting a beautiful and crisp image. And right now I'm trying the Quest 3 and I'm gonna show you what I'm what I'm what I'm getting. I'm trying this in Miami with a pitch special. I'm using preset K and the LSS 310.2.1 okay also known as the LSS4. Let me go to virtual reality so i'm not using um synchro space warp i'm not using uh, any kind of rep reprojection and as you can see i'm getting 70 uh, 72 frames 60 60 something here and this is I can tell you that this is beautiful. It's very, very smooth, and the quality is like DLAA. Right now, I'm using, let me see, I'm using settings, VR, VR graphics, DLSS performance. Let me try. DLAA, which is native resolution. Resume. And I'm getting 40, 41, 39 FPS. And the visual quality is nice. I don't know if I, I deserve to, to, to lose that amount of FPS for this quality gain. So I'm going to go back to settings, VR, your graphics, and I'm going back to performance. Save and back, resume. Yes, it's, it's, I, I think this is better. I'm in 60 frames per second in 120 hertz and as you can see the um the latency is pretty good i mean godlike 
Render resolution is at 114% and 60 frames over um, Miami. Look at this. It's beautiful, butter smooth. But what I'm doing here? OpenXR Toolkit. Now this one speed mod is showing this. Like I told you, the crop uh, fill of view option. So I can crop in advance here, fill of view, up, down, left eye, left, left eye, right, right eye, left, and right eye, um, right. Which means that I'm going to change the field of view of every uh, side of the image. You can try it. By reducing 80%, I'm getting this amount of frame rates. Uh, this, this, this frame rate. So it's beautiful. If you want to be more aggressive, you will gain even more. If I'm going to 85, for instance, here, the other way, 85, 85, 85. You can try, okay? This is not my, I'm just testing this as we speak. So if I use 85 and I go back to, um, to VR, and as you can see, I'm getting 66 frames per second over Miami. Look at that. <laughs> it feels like uh, Singular Space Warp is on, but it's not. This is amazing. 65 frames per second. And I'm using a, not an aggressive crop pin configuration here. I feel like I'm wearing a helmet, very common if you fly a bit special. So it it feels real. I'm not I'm not um, lying to you. This is like wearing a helmet. If you want to try with a less aggressive configuration, you can always try with Control F2 and you go to system, crop to FOV, and then you go to advance and you can change the settings and that's it. But I'm going to show you how to install this mod right now. So we have the program files, OpenXR toolkit, okay? And here you'll see that we have the XR AP layer Embuchia toolkit. And we also have this folder that it's into the zip file here that we are going to download with the mod and the same file. If you overwrite the file, that's it. But we want to keep the original one. So right click and, sh and click on rename once you rename it you put uh, that original or whatever you want and there then you copy the file there this will enable the new um, the new mod once you have this you close this you close that and if you want you can restart the problem just in case or maybe restart the computer from 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 zero and again you go to VR control tab and you open the menu with control F2 then you go to system crop to FOB and custom here no I'm going to use crop. Well, custom is. Oh, you can change the resolution here. If you go to custom, you can change the resolution. 
uh, and you can change the the vertical and the horizontal resolution we don't want to do that to do that now so we're going to just use this thing field of view look at that <laughs> I, I feel like 85 80 I'm, I'm, I'm going here I'm getting 88 frames per second without any problem and you can tell that this is real it's like flying a real thing I had a chance to fly the the bit special so it's it's really really near near the the real thing so uh, again you can try you can change those numbers as you want share with me what you feel what you think you can be more aggressive le less aggressive depending on on your gpu but this i think is even uh useful for 50 90 uh, graphics cards hope you enjoy this tool thank you so much to this guy <laughs> this is amazing the, I, I think that this was the the final tool that we need we needed here in the in the simulator it's a game changer believe me if you have a, a 3000 series graphic card or uh, you feel like you're missing you, you need 10 frames 20 fr frames more real frames this is the thing look at that 80 frames per second just reducing in 15 percent or 20 percent of the field of view again it's amazing thank you so much for watching please subscribe uh, that's a good thing you can do so you can help us um, to get more subscribers so my job here my job my hobby here is getting more love and more views that's what why i'm doing this so thank you so much and enjoy the simulator right now with the one speed mod bye bye